Marie Caminaris. I'm an artist and I've taught a few classes at Sachem Library with acrylics and with watercolors and pastel painting. And I'm here to talk to you about your paintings and how you can best frame them. I do a lot of my own framing here in my sometimes studio slash dining room. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how important framing is to your piece of art. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to show you a variety of pieces and what you can do at home with your artwork. So we have some very simple frames and we have some very elaborate frames. So this is a watercolor that I did a while ago and I wanted to use this as an example to show you because this watercolor is not matted. You can have uh, paintings when you frame that are matted and not matted. So this watercolor here is not matted and it also is in a very elaborate frame. So I thought this frame fit this scene in Italy, in Tuscany when we went to Italy one year. Um, and I thought it had that old world feeling just like this building did. So I wanted to pick up on that with my frame. And um, this color frame shows a lot of detail in the carving. And yet um, I think it complements the painting very well without overpowering it. So another watercolor that I wanted to show you, and just to give you an idea of what a frame can do for a painting. Now this watercolor is double matted, and um, I wanted it to have a very beachy look. So I picked this frame, and I feel it really does complement this seashell with a very beachy look. And it would go in a house decor with lots of whites and um, grays and maybe some pale blues. And um, that's what I did for this watercolor. Now I made a print of this watercolor and just to give you an idea of how different a painting can look with a different color frame, I wanted to show you this. Now this is also double matted, just like this one is, but it's basically a more modern look. Uh, the black does go with every home decor, unless uh, your room is, is um, very countrified looking and you don't want that kind of black frame in your house. But this has a very a more modern look to it with the black frame. So I just thought that's very interesting to show you the comparison between the two um, same same um, subject but different frames and I think they have a completely different look to them so that's really how important a uh, frame is to your painting and your piece of art okay and moving on I wanted to show you how you don't always need to frame a piece of art now this is a canvas of an acrylic that I did and the canvas is wrapped all around the sides of the board of the frame and you you don't necessarily have to frame something like this here is another smaller one also unframed and I think that works perfectly well with the two um, acrylic paintings they're, they're not going to be framed either. I, I think they work really well like that. And also in my studio, I have a much larger acrylic um, that I just brought out to show you that I've worked on. It's a Monet's Water Lilies, and I'll show you that over here. I just brought it here to show you and put it up against um, this mirror. But this also is unframed and it works fine because the canvas is what is the frame for it. And the painting goes beyond just the surface here. The painting extends to the edges of the canvas and it just works really well. 
Now, also, I have a watercolor here that I want to show you. And this watercolor does have a mat on it. The one with the scene in uh, Venice was unmatted, but this watercolor does have a mat. And I chose this white frame because your eye is going directly into the painting itself. There's no distraction with a colored frame that's around it. And I felt that that was important to this piece because that's what I wanted to achieve. And this would also really go in many different styles and many different decors. So you're, you're basically always safe with a black or a white frame. But I didn't want to distract from this painting and that's why I did a white mat and a cream colored frame. There's a little bit of a difference here and I think that gives it more interest. So we have that. And then we also have that you can use when you frame your work. We have colored frames. Now this piece here, this is an oil pastel. And this oil pastel um, is matted, as you can see. And it this frame around it has a little a muted gray-green color. And I felt that that really picked up on this beachy scene. So even though it has a little bit of gold in here, which you would think, well, that's for a more formal picture, I think it works here because the colors all blend in ver very well. And the gold kind of reflects and picks up the gold in the grass. So it's also something that you would keep in mind. It's very important when you pick a frame to do it to really complement your work. Okay, so moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about pastels and how they're important. I have on the wall here a pastel. And you can see how nicely, because the wall is light and the trim is white, you can see how nicely that white frame goes with that painting. It's a beachy scene and it's got a double mat to it. But one thing I want you to tell you about pastel paintings is it's very important when you mat a pastel painting that you do an inside mat. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that. But let's talk a little bit about this one. This one has a very large mat, and I wanted it to seem like you're really looking inside the window. And so it really draws you in to have such a big blank space, and then pow, all that color there. And the black really picks up with a little bit of black and the darker colors here in the painting. So I think that works very well. But the thing with pastels that um, I kind of learned the hard way, but they sometimes in movement, some very, very minor little tiny um, flakes of the pastel may, not necessarily always, but may fall. So we put an inside mat. So when that happens, it falls in a space that lies between the mat and the painting. And I'm going to show you this a little bit close up here. I don't know if you can see, but there actually is a space here between the painting and the mat. And that is the inside mat, and that's holding that. So we have that one that we spoke about. And we also have another pastel here, another colored frame with an inside mat also added. So this is a little thinner, this mat. It's a single mat. And this frame has a lot of color in it. You can see it's dusted with blue. And why I picked that, of course, because there's so much blue in the painting, but also the other color of the mat sort of picks up here on the grasses. And I felt that that mat, being a colored mat, 
works very well. So you don't always have to use black and white when you frame something. You can use a nice um, colored mat, a colored frame and a colored mat, as long as it complements the painting. And you wanna make sure when you do uh, frame something and mats a piece of art that you always put a nice finish in the back that you use some sturdy clips and some strong wire. This is a little loose, gives it a little bit of tension, but it's easily hung and it's very strong and sturdy and will last a long time. I have one other picture to show you, and this is um, also a lighter, lighter gray, more of a country feel to it. And look how nice it works with this little country pastel print um, of my little cow, Buttercup. So Buttercup original was sold, and this is a print, but it's in a double mat, and it still has that nice country look to it. And um, this is another uh, way you can put hardware on your frame. This is a different type of frame. So we have these little eye hooks, and they're pretty secure in there with a little bit of slack to the wire, not much, but it's very secure, and if we want to change this, we could just open these up. So what I'm going to show you today also is how you would go about to frame a painting. And I just finished with uh, doing a pastel, and I would like to share this framing experience with you. And we're live here, so if there's mistakes to be made, they will be made. And um, this is my painting. I just finished signing it a little while ago. And I need to make a decision on this painting. Do I want to go with this colored frame? Or do I want to go with this colored frame? So, let's see what that's going to look like. If I go with this colored frame, and it's a smaller frame, I would just put my little spacer mat in there with no uh, larger mat. And that spacer mat between the frame, or between the glass, I should say, and the painting would have to be very, very thin. It would have to be just as thin as the space between the wood coming out from the glass, which is, I think, about maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. So, so we have this look. I kind of like the rocks in there. So that look, what do you think? Should we go with that one? Or if we go with this larger frame, we're going to use a mat. So we can use a single mat or a double mat. I always like the way a double mat looks and um, I kind of like that look of the cream and the gray together. That's very popular. Gray is very popular now and that little bit of cream peeking through kind of looks nice. So let's see how that would look if I put that over here like that. That kind of looks nice. I think it really adds something to the painting. Now let's see how this would look with the frame. I think that works really well. I'm kind of liking this one better. I'll look one more time. So it's either this one with the mat or this one without the mat. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting a closed in feeling on the one without the mat on this one. And I don't really see so much tan that's in here. This is like a grayish tan, but I'm not seeing so much of that in my painting. This frame here, 
there's a little bit of tan, but it's it's a lot more gray in here. And it really using that matte, I think it really opens up the painting to really complement it a lot nicer. So I think I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay, so the first decision was made of what am I going to use to frame my piece of work. So we'll just put this away and uh, it's down here for now. I don't know if our cameraman is tired and wants to sit down because this is going to take a little while. But <laughs> um, I need something, as I was saying to you before, I need something that's going to stand between this mat and that painting. And it, it could be a piece of cardboard. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I had a um, another mat here that I don't use this color that often, and I thought this would work really well. You're not going to see this at all. It's going to go behind my first mat here. So how do I cut my mats? I would just like to show you that very quickly and uh, then we'll move on to matting everything. So I have a mat cutter. I invested in this because getting something framed at uh, the craft stores is very expensive. And I'm just gonna demonstrate to you how a mat cutter works. So I have this little piece of mat board, and it's not straight, but it's really, that doesn't really matter too much because I'm not really looking to um, use this for any particular project. So you have, when you get a mat board, it looks like this, a mat cutter, and they give you a piece like this, which helps make the nice beveled cut into it, and you have a slider. So this slider, will keep your mat board steady. However you want to put it, or however you measured it out, then you would set this down, and then you can start cutting, and you would stop at whatever line that you put in, which I didn't really mark this because I'm just showing you this for demonstration purposes. Do each side and it keeps it all basically the same and you just line up this little line with either the line that you made or the last cut that you made okay and here we have our Look how nice it makes that beveled edge in there when it cuts it. So this is just a scrap piece just to show you how a mat cutter works. Now we'll get down to the nitty gritty of um, framing my painting. Here's my painting. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, take the tape off take it off of this piece of paper. When I do my pastel work, um, I make layers of paper. So there's a nice cushion for the pastel paper. And if you saw my earlier videos, this is done on sanded paper. Anyway, let's put this down over here for now. Okay, and we have to make sure we always keep our hands clean when we do pastels. We want to make sure we don't get any pastel on any of the mats. So here's our little spacer. That's going to go behind the beige mat, like so. And what I'm going to do I don't know if everyone does this, but I do it. 
I'm going to put just a little dab of glue just to hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. Not much at all. Okay. Now we've got that in place. And as you can see, it's not showing. Now I'll add my gray mat, which I think I'm also going to do the same with just a, just a touch. I get paranoid that these things will move. I'm sure it's not necessary to do this, but I do it anyway. Okay, that looks nice and even. And I have a kneaded eraser, and I just like to go over just to pick up any dust anywhere. Okay, now let's see how this works. Okay. So now I have a little tape, and I'm going to see whether or not I need to cut this at all. I'm going to just take a little piece of tape and put it underneath my painting, just like so. Making sure my hands are clean. Take the mat and just very gently place it where I want it to be on the painting. Then I'll just tap it down. I see this is already moving slightly. There we go. Okay, once I'm happy with the way that looks, I'll take a little bit more tape and I'll slide underneath. I'm not flipping it over, just slide underneath to grab a couple of pieces. trim this excess tape with my scissor. like and then I'm going to get my glass and clean that give it that a little bit of cleaning make sure we're not having any dust on the glass that's going to show up nothing more frustrating than that gently put it in. 
Now at this time, I can put a little bit more tape around it, just to secure it a little bit more. I'm not overly concerned where my, my spacer frame is. Okay. And now I'm ready to put the back on. And these slide into little grooves that are in the wood. lucky with this because sometimes if the mat gets too thick it's it's a real struggle to slide these in all right we'll have a look there we go I think that looks really nice this gray mat is like a blue gray and um, I think it looks really well with the painting and I think um, the frame looks really nice with it. And if any flecks of the pastel should fall, they're going to fall behind these double mats and that will keep these double mats nice and clean. Now all I have to do is put in the hardware and put in the um, wire, which is boring. So <laughs> thank you for joining me. And I hope that uh, you'll have fun framing your artwork too. Bye for now.